All right, fellas, welcome back. We've got to have a serious talk today. Let me just say at the top of the video, if you have a girlfriend that happens to play sports, perhaps on a team in college, this may be the video that cracks your entire world open, all right? I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but please don't shoot the messenger. You might really have to rethink your relationship after seeing the story that we're gonna talk about today. Most of us probably know somebody that has had their private photos leaked at some point in their life, and I think a lot of us have the same type of reaction to it, right? It's not that you shouldn't take it or it's necessarily bad itself, but we all know there's always a risk involved with doing it, right? If it exists, there's a risk. It's that simple. Somebody could get a hold of your phone. Somebody could hack your iCloud. Like there are many, many ways for photos to get out. And it's pretty common, unfortunately. Usually when it's one person who has their photos leaked, you think, all right, that was a dumb mistake. They weren't thinking clearly. But now let's take that and apply it to, I don't know, say an entire team of female college volleyball players that don't have one brain between them? <laughs> this is a crazy headline. Wisconsin volleyball team leak leads to police probe after images trend on TikTok. Police are, quote, investigating multiple crimes after leaked photos of the Women's University of Wisconsin volleyball team circulated on TikTok and Twitter. According to a statement from the University of Wisconsin Athletics Department, the student athletes alerted the UW Madison PD as soon as they became aware of the leak. The statement said that the police department is investigating multiple crimes, including sharing sensitive photos without consent. UWPD is not investigating the volleyball student athletes for any wrongdoing in this matter. So I'm going to very briefly describe to you what I saw in some of the leaked images and videos. I too was investigating the matter just privately on my own for, for my own research purposes. So the first one that I saw, which I think is the biggest one going around, there's about 10 girls standing around the locker room looking all happy like they just won a big championship game. And every single one of them has their shirts pulled up just showing everything completely to the camera. Really, they look like they're having a grand old time. Honestly, I wish I was there. What's crazy about this is when I first heard about this incident, I thought it was just gonna be like one or maybe like a handful of the players, but come to find out when you actually go and search it up on your own, it was really, truly a team effort in every sense of the phrase. I mean, I don't know how many people go on an actual volleyball team, but the amount of different girls that you see in this one, just this one photo, and there are many, I would believe that this is an entire team. Now, there's also a video of this, which looks like the same celebration, which just pans around the room. There's some music playing in the background, and these girls are jumping up and down. Again, no shirts on, screaming, laughing, dancing, having fun. Damn. What's it like to have fun? I, I wouldn't know. There's also a couple videos of them in a hotel room with no pants on, like walking around, just chilling. That one's not really that crazy of a video. And then there's one of them in a bathroom. Again, no pants on, shaking their ass. You know, you get the idea. I don't want to get too descriptive. I'm not trying to get in trouble here on YouTube. What I will say is I'm very surprised at the actual behavior that takes place behind closed doors in girls' locker rooms. I thought this shit was only in the movies, fellas, for real. Like, if you were like me before and you just thought that girls' locker rooms was just hanging out, shooting the shit, and, like, talking like how dudes do, like, think again. It cannot be further from the truth. It is the polar and complete opposite of that, for real. These girls were going crazy in that motherfucker. I personally never played sports in high school or college because I was like a skater dude instead, but I was friends with dudes that were on the football teams, and I don't ever remember even one time where one of my football friends told me, hey, we won the big game last night. So to celebrate, we all got in the locker room and then pulled our pants down and took a picture together. Like, what the fuck is that? I know there's some girls that watch this channel. If you're out there right now, you got to let us know in the comments. Please enlighten us because we've got questions. It says, when were the private photos and videos leaked? Private photos and videos of the Wisconsin volleyball team were leaked on Thursday evening, October 20th. Just 24 hours before the team known as the Badgers were set to play against Michigan State. Despite the scandal and breach of privacy, the student athletes took to the court and won the volleyball game. Wow, they were probably sitting in that room hyping themselves up like, all right, we're going to play like it was these bitches that leaked these photos of us. As is unfortunately often the case, the photos and content discussing the leak began to be shared widely online with seemingly little intervention from TikTok or Twitter. 
that's not really the way that I found it to be happening online. Like a lot of these TikTok and Twitter accounts are all getting taken down. Like you can't have nudity on TikTok. I know that, but you know how it is. Once this stuff is out there, people will just keep making burner accounts to keep <laughs> reposting it. It's fucking trolls. It is currently not known how the sensitive images came to be circulated online and police are in the process of examining this. That's the biggest thing that I'm wondering about now. It's like, okay, these photos were taken on purpose, right? It's not like that they were voyeur style or that it was someone being filmed without them realizing it. They weren't candid photos, right? They were all like posed for photos and videos. So that can only lead to a handful of people, right? I mean, how many players are on the team? It had to come from one of them. Now, maybe their phones were the actual source of it, but it wasn't them themselves doing it because I don't know why you would leak that. Maybe someone lost the phone, somebody found it and then got into the photos. Although I think just about everybody has a password on their phone now, no? Hacked iCloud, that's a possibility too. Or even like a jealous boyfriend getting big mad, you know, when she goes to sleep at night. Maybe some dude went through his girlfriend's phone and was rightly horrified at what he saw. What was leaked? Photos showing the women celebrating a national win in the team's locker room were leaked. The photos were taken almost a year ago in December 2021 after the University of Wisconsin's women's volleyball team defeated Nebraska Cornhuskers during Division I blah 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 who really gives a fuck. A photo of the team pulling up their sports bras in their locker room as well as a video of the athletes celebrating their victory were among the leaked images. Yes, they certainly were. I can attest to that. Well, fellas, that is about enough goddamn internet for one day. How is everybody feeling about this out there? I'm genuinely curious. You know, I think it's a gross invasion of privacy now on some real shit to send out somebody's photos without them knowing. But we don't know for sure if that's what actually happened. I'm sure whoever's responsible for this stuff is going to get caught and they might get in some kind of legal trouble, although I don't know. I tried to find online if it's actually like illegal and how severe the punishment was. And from what I can tell in the state of Wisconsin, if you do something like this, the worst you could get is a misdemeanor. So if this person was a student at that school. They're definitely going to be kicked out of there, but they're probably not going to be in any serious legal trouble at least from what I could see. I don't know. We'll see. All right. If there's any updates about the story, I will be sure to bring them to you. But you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm sure the fellas will have oh so much to say about all this. And I look forward to reading your responses as always. If you guys enjoyed the video or were absolutely horrified by it, then do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome, amazing videos just like this. Turn on your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. Special thank you to my channel members as always for your extra support. You guys are the true MVPs and I could not be doing this without you. Check out Defy Merch down below. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and my second channel. Links to everything is in the description and I will see you dudes in the next video love you bye stay safe fellas for real